Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I just want to show you guys some of the uh, customs that I'm working on. A couple of the ones that I just finished. Well, not just, but I, I, that I, I'm finished with is this um, duplicate. I'm also finished with this faker, which has got the uh, web store armor. And I painted, you know, his face blue, try to match the uh, the body here. And I painted all of this orange, giving it some scuffs. But um, it came out okay, I think. Yeah, you know, you're gonna have quite a few, no, but just a few uh, faker figures. And I made uh, this one. I think I showed you guys in the last video, I can't remember. But I switched, this is an um, arm. Uh, I believe it's Groot, the arm. And I just painted it silver and attached it to the pack. Well, I'm gonna cut off the other one, the, you know, the original tail. That's my paintwork. I see a lot of the guys, you know, cutting, you know, doing really awesome costumes, but I'm not really into cutting <laughs> my figures. I just don't like that. Um, only this part because the tail broke off. It was like stuck. And I just moved it a little bit and just it just snapped off. So I decided to do that to make it look like, uh, you know. Yeah, I can go up different positions, left, right. But I just can't, you can go all the way around because it's stuck, but it's fine. Um, so this is finished and with this faker, it's done. Um, so I'm working, well, this another thing that is done also is for my he Skeletor, I think that's the name of this guy that I got from Mattel Creations. Um, he needed a beast so he can ride on it. So I made my own, uh, what is it? Uh, Battle Panther, I think it is, the name of him, from the comic book. And I painted this black and a little bit of gold on the, um, on the horns there. Also right there, right there, and I think I missed yeah, I think I, <laughs> I painted this too much, put too much of that uh, golden color as a face, which I also painted a little bit, try to make it look as much as I can to the comic book version. The black stripes all around the figure and also, it was pretty easy, you know, just spray paint the helmet the mount and um, you know put some gold paint also also in the eyes as you can see and I think well you can kind of see that <laughs> it was it, you know it used to be battle cast because it's got the red right there but yeah so these two I'm pretty much finished and for faker there and then still working on this one i'm gonna do yet another faker with the claws that's the reason i bought um i got that terror claw skeletor and that other he-man because i'm gonna customize it and make it yet another um faker my second custom faker now this the uh paint can, can somebody please tell me why is the paint still and I painted it months ago, but it's still sticky So if anybody knows about paint, I can you explain to me what what did I do wrong because it's sticky Like right around the bottom of the legs not here so much, but mostly here At the bottom. I think the tail too. Yeah, I don't know So I still got a long ways to go. I still got a Paint this guy, you know. Paint the eyes and everything. But uh, for the most part, he's pretty much done. 
just a few touch-ups here and there. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit different. Like I'm gonna probably paint, you know, the horns here silver. Also the horn right there is silver. And uh, you know, the face I might I might not even touch it. I might just uh, paint the eyes red. And that's pretty much it. And here I'm gonna probably paint the eyes silver. Maybe. I don't know. I'll see some customs. But yeah, almost done, but not not yet finished. So that's another one. Another one that I'm thinking of doing. Well, I'm gonna bring Webster here. I'm thinking of popping out his head, put it on the on this guy, one of the WWE. Uh, this is closer to uh, Masters of the Universe because of the way he looks. Pop this head off and paint uh, this head red, eyes yellow, and have just another character from my imagination. You know, and then put this head on this one and, you know, making something else. You know, I'll see what I can do. At least that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, I mean, the reason that I collect WWE characters is because they're very close to Masters of the Universe. I do have a few. I think I have about 10 of them. But it's not like my thing to collect them. And another thing that I did here, it's, uh, well, this is just a char another WWE character. Uh, this bear here is from the Manji, I think it is. Um, the mount is from one of these beats, but I can't remember which one this is from. I know it's from a panther, but I can't remember what I did with, you know, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I do have a panther without the, because I want, without the mount, because I wanted to put it on this guy, but uh, it doesn't fit. So I'm holding it with this wire and what I'm gonna do is probably put more so it'll hold still. Uh, if it's not too good, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna paint, it, paint these bear uh, white, make it look like a polar bear, and I'm gonna see if I can make him a helmet. You know, everything can be perfect, so you know, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Man. They had a lot of these beasts, and I wanted the elephant one, you know? But uh, something that was close to that elephant is this guy right here, which is from Avatar, I think it is. Anyway, it fits this WWE guy is pretty good. And I'm thinking of painting, you know, the skin, you know, giving him some stripes or something, you know? Thinking of... Uh, uh, pro probably, I don't know, maybe some yellow stripes, maybe, maybe orange stripes around his body, but I'll see. It, you know, it's, it's pretty okay, the figure, but, you know, it's not, you know, I mean, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it like it is, but uh, we'll see. This guy doesn't have any movement except for the head a little bit, you know, kind of like that. Turn it to the side. And that's pretty much it. I thought that he did because it looks like he would have some articulation, but it doesn't. Also in the tail. I mean, nothing moves. But um, I saw it and I was like, I saw it at the store. I think it was a Walmart where I saw it and I was like, man, you. I think it was $10. It wasn't that much. So I picked it up. And, you know, there's a few projects that I have in mind. Also, this uh, bottle cat over here, of course. Once I paint this guy red, I'm thinking of painting him red and possibly painting um, the, uh, the mount probably gray and, and then add a little bit of uh, black wash to it at the end. So that's what I'm thinking of doing with this guy, with his uh, bottle cap, painting him red, giving him uh, most likely black stripes, 
and then painting the mount, you know, grayish. Not so much like this, but a little darker than, than this silver. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be silver, it's gonna be gray. It's gonna be like a darkish type of gray. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Just wanted to give you guys a look at some of my customs that I have over here. Of course, this guy is not a custom. He's a, he's a real thing. But it fits that Battle Panther really nice. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. Just to give you a rundown of what I'm thinking of doing in the future. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.